everyone we're back with junk journal july and it is day nine which is balance so i had a little think and what i've come up with is to use some of my gel prints i have a few and i thought do you know what i'm gonna have a little bit of a play and we're gonna do balance on this page i am going to cut out some shapes Now that's really cool. <laughs> I like the edge. So we'll just save that one. I'm going to get this big. I'm going to make a big one. So as you can see, I've very quickly cut these out. Yeah, maybe not quite this quick. Too big? Maybe I can... Just make this one a bit smaller. Oh, it'll get that way. There we go. So we're going to balance the box. And I've still got some more paper now to play with. So that's going to go in my box of bits. So before I start putting them down, I really need some background. Okay, so I found this in my stash. Now, I've had this for a very long time. And I can't remember, obviously, who sent it to me. So thank you, thank you, whoever you were when you sent me this they're like napkins i think you get in america we get boring old white ones like this so really cool to be able to finally use these so if you recognize your handwriting <laughs> let me know right so what i'm gonna do i think is take some of it i just think it will just match really nicely in this in this book and you can still see underneath so I thought, if I, if I just put some glue on, I'm going to try and crinkle it up as I put it on. Because it says on there, they look really cool when they're decoupaged onto a page and crinkled up. So let's open our book up a bit. And we're, we're just working on this bit, but if it overlaps, it really doesn't matter. Right, we're going to put a bit of glue on and we're going to just <laughs> maybe not tear it, Carol. Wrinkle it up. Maybe too much that was in one go. And we're going to put our rock balance, our balancing rocks on the top. Nobody's settled, settled in my box. Luckily, I think I've got everything I need out of it. I hope. But yeah, she's she's absolutely loving just sitting in the little box with me while I'm crafting. So I can't I can't say anything because you know I'm at home and and I've only just come back off my holidays, and she's quite clingy still. And now I've gone back to work, and my work days are quite long I'm out of the house for like um, probably 11 hours so she's not used to that okay now we're gonna just pop our rocks on and then I might do a bit of embellishing on top of them have I got more I think oh no I cut that one out and then I thought it was too cool didn't I so I'm just going to do this. I like that. I'm just going to glue it down. So we're going to do some doodling on the rocks before I do the title. And I'm not a doodler, but I'm going to just have a little play with, with what we've got. So I'm going to start at the top just in case I'll get it, I'll get it wrong. <laughs> but... Do you know, I mean, I don't know if you can get doodling wrong. So I'm going to go around the top of this one. Maybe I should use like a marker. Might be easier, mightn't it? So we're going to just go around the outside of this one. Oh, 
And because I don't want this video to be way long, I'm going to just fast forward doing through this. So yeah, in retrospect, should have stuck to the paint pen because this is quite heavy on the top, but it's still balancing. So I'm swapping over to my paint pen. Now the idea for doing some doodling came from Lizzie at Lizzie Brewer and she's got a YouTube channel and she did this doodling with circles and it was really good. And I'm going to leave the link to her video in my description box because it was all about circles and I found it quite fascinating and she did some really cool doodling and that got that sort of got my juices flowing for an idea for this spread so thank you very much Lizzie and as you can see now I'm just playing honestly it's it's quite relaxing I quite like it just making little shapes how many of you do doodling? Or what? what's the other word that they use? Zen, zentangle? Zentangle? I, I can't pronounce it. This, this didn't go terribly right, but do you know what? It's just a junk journal. <laughs> and I colour all this in, but I didn't make you watch it, so don't worry. It's nearly over. It's nearly over, guys. We are going to finish it off. Okay, then I finished my doodling. I, I didn't film it all because yeah you may get a bit <laughs> get a bit bored so i've got a ink pad which will need to dry because it's not my stays on which I can't find anywhere and i've got my words i've got my letters so as if by magic these are all going to be sorted out um i may have to come down because I've got no room. So we're going to do, we're going to do find your balance. So hopefully I've got all the letters I need. And we're just going to go for it. We're just going to stamp straight onto the page, which is slightly dangerous. But, you know, I haven't got it. See, just put the Y away. Find. Maybe we can do your as well. If we leave a little gap. Find. Didn't think this one through either. Sometimes that's the trouble when you just get an idea and go for it. Oh, no, not a D, an R. Why am I putting a D? Find your... Oops, not very... Oops, <laughs> I'm not worried. I quite like the um, the wobbliness. Find your balance. It makes it look unbalanced, which is which is quite cool. We just got to add a number, which was number nine. There's a nice little handy space down there. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for number ten, which I've forgotten. Oh, stripped back. That's a cool one. See you later, guys. Bye for now.